this is the uh, MS2 connected to the uh, stimulator board running right now off 12 volts from the wall uh, through a 12 volt converter. I've got it connected to an old laptop. It's an old Pentium 2, I don't know, like a 366 processor or something like that. You can see it's uh, working. I'll rev up the motor. Everything responds. I've got a tune in here. It's a theoretical tune. hasn't been in the car yet. It's kind of based on looking at everybody else's maps on Hybrid Z and looking at my car specs and kind of tweaking the map to make sense. I'm sure it'll be way off when I get it in the car, but hopefully it'll get it fired up if I wire it correctly. Um, it makes sense. You know, timing gets pulled when the boost goes up and uh, timing advances properly. In other words, all the gauges are responding properly to all the inputs from the stem board, so that's a good sign. Let me um, cut this short and I'm going to put the mega view in here and show you how that works. Alright, well what I've done is I've taken the data cable that comes off the MS2 box and used to go to the laptop now goes to the uh, MegaView. Just basically plugs in there and MegaView gets a, its own 12 volt supply and just kind of scrolls parameters at you. It has this little control panel right here that you can mount in the car. Push buttons mode select up and down with the values so I'm going to go ahead and you can freeze this anywhere you want to watch parameters scroll it again it's telling you status, temperatures, boosts, it's telling you a whole bunch of stuff go into a different mode, now I can change my values, I can do crank enrichment, select that I can increase it, enrichment during cranking Save it. it actually saves it right to the MS2 box when I push select again and move to the next value. So there you go. This is basically going to be mounted in the car, uh, probably where the radio goes. I'm going to take the radio out. I don't really need it anymore. And I'll mount this behind a piece of Lexan so that you can only see the letters. You won't see the actual board. Uh, tinted Lexan actually. And this, this will mount in the tinted Lexan as well. So you'll see the four buttons below that. Then I also have a button and an LED in the panel that's going to be a calibration button for the wideband O2 sensor for the system. So it should be a pretty clean install. Hopefully it all works how it's supposed to. Alright, I'll uh, do some more videotaping when I get it in the car.